Welcome back to another episode of Only Fans with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, and a uh, returning guest has a special coming out. What's the name of the special? It's been kind of a while, though. It has been a while. Yeah. Maybe a year. A couple years, I'm maybe. trying to remember the name of your special. It's, it's like called I'm no- Yeah. Go Thanks ahead. for plugging it up top. Do it. Say it. My special is called I'm Normal. Yeah. And it's out on YouTube right now. Yeah. I'm not very good at promoting you know, myself, but some people, many people are saying it's the best special of the year. It is. You know, many, many people have said this. Easy, far and away. I don't know. It's, it's Bert yeah. Kreischer mm-hmm. and you. Mm-hmm. Those are my top two. Yeah. I'm trying to fix my posture on a podcast, you know, <laughs> so sometimes I'll watch back and I go, you, you look like shit. What the hell are you doing? I love your mom. You gotta act like a professional. I love your mom as a teacher bit. Oh yeah. And it thanks. makes you jealous because my That's mom fun. is a teacher too. Mm-hmm. But, you know, some of those bits that you have is like an opener. Yeah. You go like, why are you, why are you people, because you do them so many times. Yes. You're like, why are these people even laughing at this? Because they're so much less funny than us. Yeah. No offense. Yeah. I need a, each and every one of you to like and subscribe. <laughs> <clears throat> no, because it's fucking funny. And it's not. But it's just nice to um put all your stuff on like a thing. Right. And then it lives there and you don't have to ever do these bits again. You can start, you know, working on new stuff. Does that scare you at all? And you all? go, hey, uh, check out my new hour and it's 23 minutes long, <laughs> you know? <laughs> How long is yours though? Because some people, people are doing these like 30 minute ones. Yeah. Mine is uh, 49 minutes. Nice. I was hoping it would be a little longer, but I'd like, I'm like, everything on here I think is good. good. So I was like, let me just cut it down to, yeah, yeah I don't think it matters. No one's keeping score. I think it's good that it's long though. That's it's long. long. I think 49 minutes compared to like what a lot, of, a lot of people are putting out. Hey, ideally check out my be, half hour and it's 20, like you said, 23 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but ideally it would be like 53, 54 yeah. minutes, but I mean, I don't know. You cut out the part. Of I just fucking. cut the part where I, um, where I profess <laughs> my love for Islam and, and the <laughs> resistance fighters of, of Hamas. <laughs> I did like a little monologue and I was like, this isn't punchy enough. You know? Nobody's laughing. <laughs> yeah, I was like, so, I was like ah, I that need Jewish to guy looks mad. Yeah. <laughs> that 75 year old Jewish guy looks, looks upset. Your body language, sir. Yeah. 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 Oh, Jesus. Mabel, it's you. You're the problem. Um, I went to a little protest in front of Chuck Schumer's house. You did not. Yeah, I did. And, you know, protesting and activism, like it is inherently like kind of cringe, yeah, you know, and it, yeah. it feels a little silly when you okay. do it, like to go to a protest. Yeah. You know, you're did just you go like, alone or do you have like your yeah, little I went crew? Alone. Okay. I went alone, but I should have brought. You, you should have DM Amanda Seals. At least you guys could have gotten together. Yeah. I, should we DM her right now? I think she blocked me. No, oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. kidding. No, but so you go alone to Chuck Schumer's. Yeah, but you house? meet people. Yeah, but not to brag, but I did get recognized. Hell yeah. Yeah, at the protest. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what did they say? Few, oh, Mike Racine. <laughs> what about I us? love the podcast. <laughs> he's on our side. What they go, the where's Sean? I go, he's not here. He doesn't care. <laughs> oh. He doesn't care about these people like I do. Yeah. Yeah. You've been very outspoken. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, like going to protest is kind of cringe. Not, yeah. not cringe, but it's like a little corny, you know? I've never been to a protest. You go like, yeah. It's good. It's good to go. You should go. At least but once I don't, in your life. I don't have a problem with anything. Yeah. War, go, good. Go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You should go and like not even know what's being protested. Yeah. Like, like, like the, the, it's, like, <laughs> it's like they're trying to like cut more clits off. I'm like, yeah, cut them like, off. <laughs> cut them off. <laughs> Like, wow, this girl is very into cutting off clits. <laughs> oh, sh- wow, you're so cool. <laughs> I keep mine. Cut theirs Cut off. off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so go. Okay, it's so. too late for me, but. <laughs> but <laughs> that's how you. Fuck you. You're, you're at a comedy show. They're like, how did you guys meet? And you're like, well, I, was, I stumbled into a anti-clitoris protest. It's female <laughs> circumcision. Look it up. Google it. Why do they cut the clits off? It's because they it's because they don't want them experiencing. That's, that's it's so sick, weird. right? They're still yeah. doing it. Africa, yeah. I think. Yeah. Help me out, Nicole. I don't um, want to toot my own horn, but I did give my wife a little org, a little org that's last awesome. night. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. The guy I'm but that, dating. That's the best part of... Uh, 
fucking your, having sex with your wife. You can't you're, curse in the first 10 minutes, right? That's the best part of having sex with your wife. Right. You know, you're uh, nobody says that men don't say that. I took yeah, me I mean, it's not a like, hundred it's not, years of dating yeah. to find a guy that was making me come now. Well, it's not like it happens every single no, time. No, that, that's fine. But even <laughs> yeah. the fact that you're trying, yeah, I swear yeah, to yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good. It's like uh, maybe like a 60%, you know? That's high. I'm probably like, uh, who's like an NBA player? It's okay. It's <laughs> shooting threes. <laughs> I'm like. Women's I'm or men's. Pages Stoyakovic. <laughs> I don't know. That's good. <laughs> yeah. No, I, every uh, time I can't either. And sometimes I feel do feel bad. Like I'm a fucking lawnmower that won't start. And I'm just like, it's not going to happen tonight. I don't know. It's typically because the guy's not saying enough depraved things. Uh huh. That's like what I need. Oh, like what kind of depraved things? You dirty little fucking slut. Are you going to come mm-hmm. for me? Are you? And then mm-hmm. he has to flip it. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? That's fun. Good? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That's great. I forget that I want to have sex with my wife because it's so much. Like, I wouldn't. Well, it's so much like, uh, you know, hey, can I go out on Thursday night? Hey, I have a podcast. Hey, did you schedule? You know what I mean? Like you, you'd have this. Uh, the relationship comes becomes very. Um, I'm sorry. My cash app's kind of blowing up because of my let's special. Go, I put my. Let's go, let's go, let's go my Michael. Venmo, my Venmo, put his my cash, cash app. Thing up right here, Nicole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay Michael. Let's go. Balance, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give that's me like, some. That's like half of what it costs to make it, but that's, you know, it's opening that's weekend. Awesome. Yeah. Good for you, I buddy. I from my dad. So you for, shut up. You forget to have sex with her sometimes because you you're so busy you with podcasts. To. No, you forget that you want to because it's like you. It's such a when you're raising a kid together. It's such a. You it's know, a lot, right? You know, it's like did scheduling. You, who's doing bath time? Who's okay. walking the dog? I right. got. What do you want for dinner? Oh, we got meatballs in the freezer. Is any do of you, it assumed, you know? or you have to plan every day like a new day? I guess you kind of have to plan a That's little bit. And I got I got home last night, and she was like, "I want to fuck," and I was like. I don't know. I'm kind of tired. And then she was like, she was like, well, I don't care. <laughs> She's like, take your pants off. Let's go, Dad. And fuck me. <laughs> get him. I was like, get him. I was like, it's kind of funny that when I want to have sex, it's a, it's a hard no. And yeah. then when you, when you want to, oh, are you okay, it's like, Mike? It's like, are you okay? <laughs> Did you get violated? I, no, I'm just saying it's was funny. Was it against no, 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 like, your will? No, it wasn't against my will. It wasn't against Shut my will. Up. But I'm just saying it's kind of funny, you know? <laughs> If, if she wants to and I don't, she takes a gun to my head. <laughs> Absolutely. Puts, it's rape if she doesn't want to. She, stupid. She puts a gun to my head and, I, and she goes, uh, I like when you cry. <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if, I, if I scream, she goes, you're ruining this for me. No, no. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that just really sounds Rape hard. jokes are back, huh? I don't know. I think they are. I, know. I, I don't that, know. I didn't I know they that left. Era, I think that era where we, <laughs> we had to be careful about what we said. That's done. I feel yeah. like you Cancel think culture's over. Yeah, what, I think so. Think I don't once, feel once Shane hosted SNL, it's all over. Yeah, I think when maybe when Trump went away, it was like whatever. It's back to normal. But he's going to be our next president. What do you mean went away? I know that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. I'm worried it's going to get like hypersensitive again because it was it was pretty hypersensitive when comedy was not very good no. for those four years. I agree. You know, yeah. You think Trump's going to be president again? Yeah, kind of. But I'm going to vote for him this time. I mean, I, who else are we going <laughs> to Yeah. Yeah. I think he's going to fix the Middle East because my a friend of mine sent me. I'm sorry that we're talking about the Middle you East. You are I'm not. Gonna, not. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it that much. I'm I really not, don't. It's not I, something I want to dwell on by any means. But Trump, this is says breaking. Trump calls on Israel to end war and says anti-Semitism is caused by Israeli behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Victim blaming. <laughs> Victim blaming. Come yeah. On. Well, who's uh, the. Here we go. Yeah, all right. All right, but listen. Follow, head over to Patreon. <laughs> we're gonna have a, we're gonna have Rich Voss call in and, and oh uh, weigh in. How are you guys doing? Yeah. You guys make up? Know, yet? I haven't seen him. Well, I'm joking. We didn't really. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Trump calls on Israel to quote finish up Hold the on war one sec. in Gaza. Can you Gaza. get the door? I think Rich is here. Because <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Nicole took her headphones <laughs> I wish there was a camera. Just like a is there a camera on you, Nicole? <laughs> I just pranked her so good. Just I'm a sorry. Little, a little, uh, yeah. He says like Israeli. It's it's so he said, he anti-Semitism said, is their own fault. But can I tell you something? I don't know if you know. There's one thing I want to say real quick. I don't know if you know what they're doing. Doing there. there's it's genocide and starving them no, and killing read, all the babies. I read something. I read something yesterday, and I I go. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But I go, this is so like cartoonishly evil. Yeah. I'm like, I don't really? I, this. I'm like, this can't be real. Yeah. This. I'm like, I hope to God Can this is made up. It? What? Can you say it? You think we'll get demonetized? I don't want to demonetize anybody. We'll bleep it. All right. Bleep the whole thing. 
Where, like bleep the whole sentence, don't, I guess. Don't speak to her in that tone. I'm not. No, no. I'm just saying. Like, I don't. I'm, I'm looking out for you guys. I don't want you to get demonetized. Yeah. I would never disrespect. All right. Just making sure. It's got boundaries here. Yeah. Um. <laughs> do you want me to say it? Yes, desperately. What I what I read was, and I'm, I hope it's not true. I I feel like you're also on very specific websites. No, it's just Instagram. Reddit. Yeah. But what I read was that two IDF soldiers. And then they, that's what I heard, you know? So yeah, Trump is right. Israeli, that's the, no, I don't know. War is pretty brutal, huh? It's pretty, yeah, but I don't know. I don't that's get war? how people, I don't know. But to me, that's like, I don't get how people do that to other people in general, I yeah. guess. I'm too sheltered and I've lived too yeah, good yeah. a life to like genuinely understand any person doing yeah. that to another person human yeah even one they didn't like yeah well if you guys need a laugh my special is uh out right now on youtube it's called save I'm, our clips it's called i'm save normal <laughs> That's a, that is a good bit i'm glad we i'm glad we did I'm that trying to bring it back yeah <coughs> let's talk about you, but but you don't think that's kind of a cop out to be like oh yeah war is really bad yeah in, do, in war maybe, they well i'm sorry didn't hamas some no. fucking women? No. It's been debunked. I'll I'll send you some stuff. Okay. But uh no. What I about the did. I mean I I and remember Muslim, very... so they don't do stuff like that. But uh, we can move on to something else. I remember seeing footage what? Of, what? of women with bloody sweatpants with hands behind their back from the um yeah. festival. Yeah. That I don't know what that was. <laughs> you didn't see it? <laughs> I did I did see that, yeah. But I, but I don't think that was. You can't um, prove they. Uh, I don't they, know. They were going like this and like doing this like over like a woman's but, but like naked to, slumped body. Yeah, I mean you have to deal with the reality if that if that happened, you know. But I, I think that all these claims of like mass has been pretty thoroughly like debunked and not not uh, substantiated. So I'm brainwashed by the media. What's that? I'm brainwashed. Um, I think that like the New York Times got in some trouble for running a story about like all this, all this mass <laughs> that was never really verified. Yeah. Yeah. But it's something to look into and, and you know, everybody should look into it and I'm <sighs> not an expert or anything. And I think you might be. And, um, compared to me, you, you know, are, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry I brought it up. No, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, I also like have like, but if that, if I mean, if that like is as far as like sentiment is concerned with like my day to day, like I have just a lot of like close Jewish friends. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm hearing what they're saying. Yeah. So I'm not saying that I shouldn't have more due diligence and do my own research. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I guess I'm just taking my friends at face value. Yeah. We were having so much fun. We were talking about people's clits getting cut off. <laughs> I do. I do find like you're like the scheduling, having a kid, how you have to do it. If, like how you have to talk about it every day. There's also plenty of Jewish people like at these protests who are. I you know, know yeah, who yeah, are yeah. anti-Israel. Yeah, yeah, so was, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. It yeah. must be very conflicting. It's probably very conflicting. You got to hit the dog, Nicole. You got to. You got, I'm joking everyone, but you got, Mabel, if you squeak that, I'm going to send you back to the rescue. Hey, cut it out. She's you. actually helping the show. She's like, please get back to comedy. <coughs> but anyway, so we went to a protest in front of Chuck Schumer's house. Who's we? So you did go with a buddy. You said you went alone. No, like me and you the, meet people me, on and the my, way. me and my fans. It's like six the flags. People who recognize me. You, you're yeah. in line with somebody long enough. You kind of hit it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Did Chuck and, uh, Schumer come out? No, but we like stood in front of his house and we like sang and I was like, okay, this is a little, you know, what did you say? It's a little corny. Uh, just a bunch of like, I don't know, a bunch of, so I didn't really sing Forever that much. Forever in blue but... jeans. That one, little <laughs> yeah, Neil yeah, Diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello <Monday> again. <laughs> Money <Hello>. talks, <laughs> but I can't sing and dance and it don't walk. It's so good to be in in your building lobby. <laughs> Where is his building? That'd be kind of fun. Is it in Manhattan? It's like it's like in front of uh, Prospect Park. Oh, in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, yeah. 
Prospect Park's beautiful. I think that's where. You, yeah, it's nice. I used to take my first dog there, Ernest. <laughs> what are your top three New York City parks? He's in the box. Um, I take he's me, in the box. My old dog. He my, was a good dog. My first dog. Yeah. Remember oh, that's Ernest? a picture of him. Yeah, yeah, he was great. Yeah. Um, we go to Rockefeller Let's say Park. A little, yeah. <laughs> we go to Rockefeller Park every morning. Oh, okay. We're out there at 6 a.m. though, so nobody yells at us and bugs us. Yeah. But it's very pristine. It would probably be much more pristine you if we didn't go there. I wake up at 5. So I have like oh, my yeah. mother's jeans. Yeah. I just like. Nice. Unless I stay up after like 1 a.m. Yeah. I'm waking up at like 5 or yeah. 6 at the latest. It's good to wake up early when yeah. the world is uh, asleep. Of course, you get you know, so much done. You your grind set. You bob and, you go, to and bed at, you go to bed at 7 p.m. Yeah, with yeah. my oatmeal. When everyone's doing spots. Yep, my <laughs> Metamucil. Like, like, oh, I'm not booked like, again. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike, can you do my podcast at 8.30 p.m.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, Karen. I'm not booked either. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a late spot after this, and I'm kind of like, why? Well, that's you know? good, though. That's good that you're doing this as warm-up. Yeah. You get to a point, though, where you're, like, doing a, doing a spot. It's, like, kind of feels like a waste of time. I hear you. Sometimes, you know? I stopped doing frantic. Sometimes you go. You, you did? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you go, like, hey, it's nice, but then, you know, sometimes you want the night off. Sure. But then sometimes you have seven, 17 consecutive nights off in a row. And you're like, I'm going <laughs> to cut myself. <laughs> Kill myself, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hurt myself, yeah. You just never find that balance, you know? I don't know. Maybe you do. But it's hard. How much are you on the road? Not, I mean, maybe like two or three weekends a year, some one nighters and stuff like that. I so think not more than that, maybe more than that, but not. I feel like you're on different. the road at least once a month. At least I see you. Yeah, so maybe two or three twice. weekends. I'm, I'm sorry, two or three weekends, a like month. a month. A month. Yeah, you yeah. said a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's like when you're at. How often um, does the whole fam come? Um, if not it's a good much, but not much, but like, I, I would like to bring them more, but it's like, I don't know, flying your family down to, it's like, there goes know, the money. Yeah. There goes all the money. I, I did it with my little sister. I was playing like the DC comedy loft uh-huh. and I was like, yeah, Colleen, come, I'll get your flight. I'll get a hotel. I'll yeah, take you yeah, out yeah. to dinner. And I was yeah. like, wow, I paid to be here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We went to the zoo though. Yeah, Have yeah. you been to that zoo? The Cincinnati, what? No, oh, DC? DC. Oh no. That's one of the best zoos in the really? country. Got there really early. Nobody talks about it. It's so good. There's lions. There's tons of monkeys, mm. um, tigers. What was your favorite thing that you saw? The lions saw? were majestic. Yeah. The elephants only came out like a little bit towards the end, but the elephants are really cool too. Yeah. Are you guys? I, think I went to the San Diego Zoo, and I is that I one good? The, yeah, that, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I've never been to San Diego. I think the mandrel was the best. Okay. Animal. What you know, the is monkey. that? What's that? It's a monkey. Yeah, it's like the Rafiki monkey from Oh, that's Lion a good King. one. I took my brother and his They're family. like really strong. I'm like, that thing could, you know. How do you know? Do you arm wrestle could it? fuck the shit out of my wife. <laughs> 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 I'm like, oh my God. We're I'm at like, the zoo. Hi. <laughs> Listen, I was wondering what you're doing later. <laughs> Wow, God, you're just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to stare, but you're just so powerful. <laughs> that's, a, that's a mandrel right there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that thing would, yeah, go to town. That looks serious. It looks like yeah. it already did. Yeah. It looks like it's like went to t- down on its girlfriend while she was on the rag. Mm, oh, because his face is red. Yeah. Yeah. To our audio listeners. That's a little, that's a little. Uh, I'm describing a red face monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like, so when you go on the road, dad's a single mom. I guess, yeah. That's got to be hard. And the dogs? It is hard. Just one dog. Right, right, right. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah. Oliver. You knew that. I forgot you killed that dog. Yeah, we killed our Yorkie. Your, he was what, 400? He, <laughs> he was, was, yeah. 600 years old? No, he was, 600 he was born years old. 800 AC, BC? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. AD. In people years. <laughs> yeah. He was, uh, he helped kill Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would see him. He's like, ah, he like yeah. walking into walls. I remember it'd be like, yeah. dude, when are you going to put this dog to sleep? Maybe yeah, but you never down. really know the right time to put a dog to sleep. I, I mean, it's like, I mean, you, you kind of know it's time, but it's like, what is the, what is the straw that makes you, right? you know, be what like, was we have it? To, um, I think it was just like, he was going to the, he was in diapers. Shitting in the house, shitting himself. Yeah. Shitting wasn't as bad. Cause like shit is so easy to clean up. Right. But like when he pees on the floor and then you step in it cause you don't see it and you track it through the house. It's gross. That's when like, that would make me just kind of lose it. Sounds like you're in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I literally like that happened to me once and I just like lost it and I like, I started punching the wall good, and good. I, I left the house and I just started walking and yeah, I just like, you gotta go. I went down to, uh, you know, like the, like the neighborhood Kensington. It's like yes. down on the G, the, right. and the F. 
I was like, I wonder if I could like rent a room and live here and just work <laughs> 80 hours a week, pay rent at two places so I don't have to like be around my family anymore. <laughs> He was like ruining. Yeah, he was ruining my life. But I felt bad because it's like, you know, Deb got him when she was like 18. You know, wow. She was 18 years old. She was like, I just I want a little dog. Right. And then, you know, she was like going to school, working at Caroline's, like never home. So he was completely neglected. And then when we started dating, he was eight and he would bark like all the time. He would just come to the room and he would bark and then you would go to pick him up and then he would run away. <laughs> like, and then towards the end of his life, he like slowed down a lot. So he wasn't barking anymore, but he was just in diapers and he was pissing and shitting everywhere. I would have to take him out every like two hours down the elevator. I lived in an elevator building, mm. just down the elevator. And like, I mean, it was, was, little diaper dog? it was brutal. And I would like carry him. And then Frankie was like the total opposite. Right. Of the He's like, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So I would like carry Oliver. He'd be off that the leash. Hard. And then, yeah. And then I, yeah, I almost, uh, I almost lost my mind a right. few times. Yeah. And then the night that we, um, <clears throat> the day we put him down, Deb, Deb was like, all right, we're, we're putting him down on Monday. And, uh, so, so I was like, all right, but then she had to work. She had to move some clients around. So I was like, all right, well, we're not, the animal hospital is not open after 6 PM. So we're not, today's not the day, I guess. So, um, he went to the bathroom on the floor and I like, I like kicked him cause I was very mad. You did it, I Michael. kicked, I kicked a 800 year old Yorkie. <laughs> I, I, I mean, not hard, but I, I did. I do remember kicking him. Oh my God. Michael. And then Deb gets home from work and I'm like, the dog pissed on the floor again. And I kicked him and, and I don't know what to do, but it's just like, all right, well, we're putting him down tonight. And I'm like, what do you mean? It's not. We can't it's, do it. They close what do you, at six. What do you mean they close at six? She's like, no, it's a 24 hour hospital and we're driving down tonight. We're putting, and then we're putting you this dog down. On his last day. On his last day. And, I, and then I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, <laughs> and we wrong. have to leave in like an hour. And I was like, you know, when you put down your dog, you you have to get like, a, you got to get him, get him a steak or something. Right. And she was like, no, we have to go. So we just had like leftover chili in the fridge <laughs> that I was about to throw out. So his last meal was just like, you probably like, loved just it. Like, just like turkey chili. That sounds good. I guess he for liked him, it. Yeah. That's what I was doing for yeah. my dog when he had a tumor. And I was like getting brisket, and putting it in a blender and feeding yeah. him like meat soup. They yeah. like that shit. They like it. Yeah. yeah. I was just, I've never been there for the end of a dog's life. And yeah, uh, it's kind of brutal. Yeah. To see sad. the body. Yeah. Cause my, he like died in my lap and he like went limp. And he went limp. And then what do you do? Well, then the lady put him in a backpack and took him out of here. A backpack? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She had a little doggy backpack. Uh-huh. She put him up in there. I mean, she, like with straps, a backpack? Like she laid him on his side really yeah. nice uh -huh. and then zipped him up and like really tight and then, yeah, put him on her back. <laughs> and then I got him in a box about a week later. But oh, okay. he like... Um, she like went camping or something. No. <laughs> yeah. Was she going to fourth grade? Yeah, she revived <laughs> yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. She had like, her name written on the backpack. <laughs> he greeted J -D -V, her. JDV, <laughs> like her initials. <laughs> They said for stranger danger, you weren't supposed to do that. You're not supposed to put your, your name on your backpack because then mm. a pedophile can go, hey, Karen. Right. It's hard to imagine a little kid named Karen. Well, it's also like the spelling too. It's like, hey, Karen, yeah. oh, you're going to yeah. be too tough. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Your mom loves you. It's a <laughs> unique name. You have confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to be tough to molest. So to go like, hey, Andrew, Andrew, your, your mom is in the hospital. I'm going to go. I'm, Here's she a chocolate me to candy. Go. She gave me this yeah. candy bar to give you. Yeah. Andrew's yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Do you remember being a kid and like, I remember being terrified that someone was going to come into my house and abduct Same. me. Same. <laughs> like, All the time. The stranger danger stuff was Nightmares. So, I would hold yeah. like literally one eye open and yeah. I would just wait. I'd be like, yeah, what am yeah. I going to do? What am I going to do? I would ask my mom if I could sleep with knives all the time. Yeah. She's like, you're fine. Yeah. You're, yeah, yeah. Your dad is big. Yeah. Right. Well, right. He'll protect us. Because I remember in the, in the in the I think it was like like the Nickelodeon special. They were like, "This girl was abducted from her bed. A yeah, man came yeah, into yeah, her window." Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, that's what they like opened with." Right. Yeah. It would scare the shit out of us. That documentary yeah. is crazy, dude. The, yeah. The f pedophile one. Yeah. I know you already. They don't tell about. you it's going to be your dad's friend who molests you. No, it wasn't his dad's friend. No, but I'm saying like the people who molest you are going to be oh, they're yeah. going to be close to you. Right. You know. I never got molested. What? I never got molested. Yeah, me neither. Really I don't lucky. Think. We're really yeah. lucky. Yeah, we're pretty lucky. Good for us. Yeah.
when I killed Ernest, my mm-hmm. first dog, mm-hmm. he greeted the vet at the door wagging his tail. Yeah, so he's yeah. just like a hyper kind of dog. Yeah, yeah. And she walked Why in. Why did you have to put him down? He, he was had sick. a tumor in his throat. <laughs> yeah, he hadn't yeah. eaten for a week. Yeah. It was going to be like a slow, painful, awful death. That was my my childhood dog. He was just like bleeding out of his ass one night. My dog, yeah. my first dog bled out of her ass and they kept having surgeries and popping yeah. tumors and taking them out. And then yeah. one time they were like, all right, that's it. Yeah. She's out of here. What do they get tumor from our, the, the food that we give them? Yeah. Like the table food? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Dogs many, get cancer a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the vet came in and saw him wagging his tail and she was like, this dog? Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> she yeah, was yeah, looking yeah. around for yeah, another. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, the wrong I room. said to her, I was like, the chart. I, like go, yeah. I go, is he like, too we alive? We mixed up a chart last week. <laughs> we switched the chart and uh, I just don't want to make the same mistake again. I, know, I, yeah. I was like, does he look too alive? Like, are we not? I was like... Mm-hmm. And then um, she came in and like sat down to talk to me. I yeah. feel like she was probably like, let me evaluate this woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's trying to kill this dog that's wagging his tail. Yeah, yeah. But then he went up on the couch and like you could just, she was like, oh, he's in so much pain. Yeah, yeah. He's miserable. And he was still, and he was on nerve blockers. Yeah. I feel like I lost so many pets as a, as a kid that like, because uh, I we had birds. Before we got our dog, we had birds. Uh, we had tadpoles. Mm-hmm. And I remember like when my tadpole died, I was like, I don't care because <laughs> I had lost so many pets. <laughs> my mom killed like, a bunch of pets because she painted our basement once. Oh, yeah. She killed two lizards and a parakeet. Why? Oh, the, the fumes? fumes. Oh, really? They all dropped dead. She just flushed That's them. That's such a mom thing to totally. do. Totally. <laughs> like, such a mom. also, like, you first, of all, first of all, they're such busy bodies. <laughs> right. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> Get up! We have to rearrange them. We have to switch the bedrooms again. I gotta paint the whole yeah. basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not gonna open the windows. Yeah. Snow snowball oh died. God. We hated that bird though. Uh-huh. She bit us all the time. Mm-hmm. And then the lizards. I never really. Lizards did. are cool. They're cool. We used to race them, and we'd break their tails yeah. off to watch them regrow. Okay. Because you could. Yeah. That was okay. Yeah, yeah. What's not okay is kicking a seventeen-year-old dog. I kind of want a lizard. I kind of want a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. No, no, no. Yours is. Yeah, mine's way worse. I guess. Oh well, we used He's to 16. torture. We used to torture uh, hamster crabs. Not hamster crabs. What am I thinking? I didn't kick them because like no, it was premeditated. <laughs> but you know, I had already kicked them a few times before, like right. that week. Yeah. Even, so it's like the seal was already broken. Evening out the ribs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've swatted Frankie a few times. My my dog. Sharpe. Yeah, because he's very bad on the leash. So. So. Yeah, but do it's like. Do you ever think about hiring Justin that, Silver? Uh, to help no. with dog trading? No, I think it's a good idea. I'm, I, I'm, I need I help. I know he's good, but yeah. Yeah, I just yeah. feel like Mabel's like good, but like on the leash. I don't care for the uh, the train your dogs people. You know. Yeah. When people go, your dog should be trained if it's going to leave the house. I'm like, well, it's not bothering you. It's on a leash. Right. I don't know what happened. It it jumped. It smelled you. Right. What do you want from me? Okay. I got stuff to do. I mean, maybe we'll jump. I'm trying to get famous. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't have time for this normie bullshit. And train my dog. I'm no. trying to get to 100K on Instagram. <laughs> I come fuck. to the coffee shop. Yeah. My dog jumps on the counter yeah. with yeah. her dirty Frisbee. Yeah. You give me my I'm coffee. I'm trying to be a famous podcaster. I don't tip you. And we call it a day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I tip. I tip you guys. No, I tip. There was a girl on TikTok recently, and she made a video about how like her dog peed on the the, f- the frozen fish at Trader Joe's because he was in the, the <laughs> cart. How? Um, how did he pee? Oh, he was, he in, was the- in the cart oh. and he like lifted his leg. She like turned her head and he lifted his leg and pissed on like f- $400 worth of dog. stuff. Yeah, it was like a, like a little pug. Yeah. But I think she got so much backlash that like her account doesn't exist anymore because <laughs> oh everybody was like, stop, stop bringing <laughs> Your dogs to Trader Joe's. <laughs> She's like, okay, time First to nuke all- my account. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll leave TikTok. <laughs> Here's I- what we not gonna do. <laughs> Mabel's upset. <laughs> so, Mabel's never been to a Trader it's Joe's. Funny when your dog gets upset. <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know you've never been to Trader Joe's. But that is kind of a pet peeve when, like, when when no offense, Karen, but white women bring their dog to the grocery store. I mean, I don't bring her to the grocery store. I know, but a lot of the, a lot of your people do. Yeah. It's just, it's not just anywhere, but the grocery store. That's a love girl. Do you bring him? Do you bring him to the grocery store? Never. She's never been. Yeah. She used to come to the bodega slash deli. Mabes, chill. 
I'm sorry. She's just being a little intense. Go lie down. Go lie down. Nobody needs that intensity. It's because he clapped and now you're protecting me. I was fine. Yeah, she doesn't like that. She's nope. <laughs> she's making her bite her own foot. She's gonna. She's gonna okay, burrow okay. I'm into sorry. you. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. I won't do it again. <laughs> Can you go to your spot, please? I won't do it again. You're fine. All right. Thank you. I know. I know. Mike Racine so, had a way <laughs> with dogs, but one day during a podcast, he was killed by <laughs> by Karen Feehan's black lab. She, she's a lab shepherd. She's oh, lab uh, shepherd. she weighs seventy pounds. Mm. She is. Um, okay. She gets in dog fights a lot. Okay. Yeah, but this girl brought her dog to Trader Joe's, and the dog pissed on the the frozen fish and the fro and the fried chicken or the frozen whatever. <laughs> yeah. And she like bought all, she was like, she like bought all the merchandise and then she made a video being like, I'm selling this merchandise on Craigslist if anybody wants it. She's selling food Fish? that her dog pissed on. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. I just, just dawned on me. What? Is anybody buying it? <laughs> You're just like, it just dawned on me. I have a date tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say fish piss? <laughs> Oh, I have a date with Jeremy Fishbiss from Tinder. <laughs> We're gonna go for sushi. <laughs> Are you good, man? Oh my god, my <laughs> I'm double booked. It's okay. <laughs> I, you're fine. Yeah. I uh, oh god, I have a boyfriend. That's nice. Yep. How's that going? Pretty good. Yeah. We met in Key West and fell in love. He can sail a boat. Okay. And he's not like one of these Gen Z guys. It's like, what's your body count? <laughs> <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> Hey, yo, what's your body count? <laughs> God, I hope not. If, the, if some guy asked me that, yo, I you date, ran through. Yeah. He's, like, he's like 20 years old. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I'm fucking 20 years older than you. No, yeah. this guy's age appropriate. I was doing okay. too many fucking young guys for a while. I just, uh -huh. I think I was feeding my ego or whatever. Uh huh. I feel like I could have sex with some young women if I was, you know, if I was divorced. Yeah. But maybe not. I don't know. I think you'd get irritated very quickly, Mike. Yeah. yeah. I got in a fight with my wife a few months ago and I said, I just want to live in a van and fuck 25 year olds. <laughs> and that, yeah. That kind of upset her. <laughs> so I, She's I like, what kind of van? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, we haven't even talked about. <laughs> I want a Previa. Wouldn't that be cool though? You just, you just live in a U-Haul like, and you park it downstairs so you can still see your kid and you just go on. No, that wouldn't be cool. That no. would, that would be terrible. No. Yeah. No, but I do think that you have I never got to, I never, but no, I do have a great life. I can't, I can't complain, not complaining. Um, but I never got to do like problematic age gap relationships, you know, right. I never got to like be 35 and go on a date with a, like a 26 year old. Just ask Joe DeRosa how his life's how his going. Life's going. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, you know, dude, it's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> You know what? It's not really. Uh... You know what? She doesn't really care that somebody stole all my video games. <laughs> Did you hear about Ari wiping his balls all over his house? <laughs> no, but listen, I moved. I moved Joe to Rosa uh, three times. Okay. He was a he was a, a great client. Yeah. Great to work with. Not very me. Easy job. When Mike moved me, he dumped all my clothes out in the street in the East no, Village. No, I didn't. You probably your box wasn't taped up. Yep. <laughs> It should Was be. Was your box taped? My box should be taped for the rest of, <laughs> for the rest of time. Hey, your box should be. <laughs> taped, duct taped, <laughs> locked you, and they loaded. They should do the man in the iron mask on Karen's <laughs> box. <laughs> yeah, it was my the fault. The box in the iron mask starring Karen Shut Fian. Up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're right. My box wasn't taped. My box wasn't taped. But Joe DeRosa was a yeah, good client? Yeah, there's no way. What's that? Joe DeRosa was a good client? Yeah, he was great. He's a little particular, but, you know, he, like, uh, was, when the job was done, he was happy and he tipped really well. So. <laughs> Did you go to SNL Nothing. when Shane was on, was hosting? Um, you guys I wanted to go close, to the after huh? party. I couldn't stay up that late. Yeah, I can't either. My, Deb went. To and, the after party? Yeah. Deb's fucking out there, yeah, man. Yeah, she's out there, yeah. Let's go, yeah, Deb. Yeah, 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 yeah. She reported back? Um. It ended up being like a fight because like I we made plans for her to go to the show and me go to the after party. And then she went to the after party. OK, but, you know, those things, the, the whole thing is like those things start so late. Are you lying you know? right now? What do you mean? She really went to the after party? Yeah. What time did it start? Like 2.30. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late. She is mom's night yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, Wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wild. And you're home. 
and I'm home and I'm going like, where the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm supposed to be there right now networking. <laughs> I had You're ruining son. this for me. You don't care about our future. I'm supposed to be talking to Joe DeRosa right now. Joe's be, like, oh yeah. I'm supposed to be talking about Lucky Charms with Sal Volcano so I can do their podcast. Listening to Tim Dillon complain about Sal Volcano's Super Bowl party was the funniest thing I've ever heard. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure Tim. Tim, Tim really he'll talk- goes there. <laughs> I saw him that night. Dude, I've had him over for dinner a couple times. That once. Tim? Yeah. Oh, man. And I was like, oh, it's like, it's like in the sitcom where you need everything to go right because your boss is coming over yeah. for dinner. I'm, oh, like, I'm like, I'm like Tim Dillon's coming. Yeah. Places everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Defrost more food. We're gonna need more potatoes. Where's the butter? <laughs> Where's my salad forks? Wow, I bet he enjoyed like your in the food. Dishwasher. Though. You're a good cook. I am a good cook, and he liked it. But right. you know, and you probably know the, the appropriate portions. The apartment we were living in was kind of a a shithole. Whatever. You know, and he probably had some opinions about it, but whatever. Yeah. But it's, uh, I, I, yeah, I've heard he does that. I've heard he trashes people's. It was, I mean, I was so excited to even get invited he, uh-huh. to Salvo Hall to Super Bowl party. And mm-hmm, so I started mm-hmm. bragging. I guess I didn't realize it was like. Because I heard he went to Ari's barbecue and he just <laughs> left. <laughs> he was like, all right, this is fun. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he's like, I'm, I'm going like, on Lewis's like, podcast. I'm going to talk about like, it tomorrow, but I yeah. get that. This guy's got millions in the bank. Fucking chips. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's like nothing. Like, where's the spread? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good, spread? I mean, that's, he's not wrong. Is he wrong? I Wait, mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was talking about Sal's part. Yeah. Not, not Ari. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I would never, I would be, again, grateful just to be invited. Tim Dillon can say what Tim Dillon wants, of course. That's I don't so need funny as much because, as Tim. No, but if I get invited to Sal's party, I'm I'd, be happy like, with I'd be like, this is so nice. Thank you. I right. love, I love chips. I'm, are these napkins <laughs> edible? <it> <laughs> I'll eat whatever. Where's your wife? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. How can I serve? Oh, <laughs> but yeah, Tim cracks me up. It's, it's really funny when people are, uh, when people are cheap. Yeah. You know? When you, when you know how much money people make. <laughs> and then they're cheap. And they're cheap, yeah. It's so funny. It's like, that's I, that's probably one of my biggest fears that somebody would think that I'm I like a cheapskate. Same. But I don't have that much, I don't make that much money. You don't have that reputation but, though, but I would yeah. hate to have a cheapskate But I want reputation. people to think, right, right, right. Because I want but people I've to never, go, I want people to go like, oh, Racine's very generous. Yes. Yeah. But I've always been generous um, at like restaurants you, you, and stuff. You tipped very well when I moved you. Did I? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Um. Yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> I well, well, I was a waitress for yeah. like ten, you know, year and a bartender for however ten years. Yeah. So I've always been a twenty percenter. You know what I mean? It's yeah, always been least, in the back yeah. of my. Yeah, now yeah. that I have more, I'm like a twenty five percenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if like I know you, it's probably going to be more. Yeah. I take care of the sand waitresses pretty we hard. We got drinks. We got drinks the other day, yeah. like last Friday, yeah. and um some money was coming in from my special okay. and we went, we got like fries and a couple beers okay. and I, uh, the bill was like 22 bucks. Yeah. And I left, I left the girl a 20. <laughs> that felt nice. I was like, I'm a celeb. That's right. Cause I'm a celebrity. <laughs> I was nice. showing off in front of my boyfriend cause he knows all these like bartenders and like stuff in QS. That's like the best thing to do. Like being popular is the best. People yeah. don't realize that. That's why John Gotti is like, we know John Gotti's name and not the other guys. Right. Because he was popular. Everybody he talked was, about him. Because he was nice to people. Yeah. Charming. You know? Yeah. And yeah, so I, if I know it's your friend or whatever, I'm going to, you know, break him off a little something. Yeah. So then your friends are going to say to you, hey, that girl's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a, I did a, a, a show. You know, Mike Coscarelli's got his little studio. Yes. They had that. It like, used to be the board. guys we called? fucked. What's that thing called? The clapboard. The clap. The clap, like yeah. Scene. And Luke one, Monas take goes. One. Luke Monas goes. Mike, how much money is this thing? <laughs> how much? How much do you think those things cost? Fifteen bucks. Forty. That's bucks. what I was thinking. No, I, I mean my guess would be like between eight and ten bucks on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. He goes. Yeah, I think it's about fifty bucks. <laughs> what? <laughs> like. That's crazy. Yeah. You could get one. I bet on Amazon. Yeah, I uh, Joe List was letting me hold it. We were making movies. Mm-hmm. We made a couple movies. Me and Joe List. Okay, pretty fun. Nice. I'm pretty yeah, good on good. set. It's hard uh, being you... on set. Yeah, yeah. 
it's hard because you go like, oh, I see why people, why actors like rape people and become pieces of shit because you just you're just treated like too well. You uh, what, when oh, they go when they go like we have talent, talent here. Yeah, th- th- that adjective, but you're it's like, a noun. Yes. <laughs> I deserve this. I am identifying as <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm like, the talent moving like, through. Where's diarrhea man number one? <laughs> <laughs> you start referring to yourself. It's actually the talented diarrhea man number one. You start calling yourself talent. I, I I've done that and I've yeah. made myself want hey, to throw up. Where's WAP four? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right here. I'm sorry. I'm just. <laughs> it's so much waiting I'm just around. Just getting my feet rubbed. Yeah. And then it's like, be funny right now. Yeah. And then it's like, stop. Yeah. And then it's like, ad lib. Right. And then like, you're never as funny as you think you're going to be. At mm-hmm. least I haven't been mm-hmm. recently. I remember I like was doing Shane's show. I'm in mean, mm-hmm. one episode. They probably cut me, but whatever. Mm-hmm. And like, there'd be like a few takes like in Shane to like, give me like another, like, go ahead, like have like fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then like three takes later, he'd be like, <gasps> stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You think you're going to be like Sid Caesar? <laughs> <laughs> like, <"Ooh." laughs> just, whatever you're yeah. doing just stop doing that yeah, yeah. i don't know <laughs> it was fun working with jolis so sarah's so funny have you been to the sarah's, mothership sarah's so funny have you done the mothership you, I, i've been there but i haven't like done it but yeah sarah a, you should get a weekend there all right i'll try who do you reach out to we just Google comedy mothership. You got a cold call like you're like you're in Glen Gary Glen Ross. <laughs> like I, I'm looking for Mr. Mothership. <laughs> hey, uh, look, Joe, Joe, listen, I want to talk to you for a second. Joe, Joe, listen, I want to talk to you for a second. I got a pitch. I got a pitch. You probably know me. I, I don't know if you've heard of. I don't know if you've heard of uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> well, Joe, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm manifesting I, for you. I yeah. I believe in you. I think there's no reason why you can get a weekend of the mothership in 2027. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, the next opening they have. Yeah. Uh, that place They're like, what well, we're awesome. doing? A, well, um, ne- like, next week we have George Zimmerman. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> how do you feel about? Oh, Michael. I just I've been held, kind of. <laughs> was it the couch? Oh, that was full fucking part. Is it gonna smell? I'm slightly congested. So I'm not, I go sniffing for it though, like a weird dog. <laughs> is it, is it bad? Throw this in the, throw this in the garbage. <laughs> you won't be needing that anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Mabel comes and grabs it. <laughs> this is so good. Nicole, are you okay? Thanks. Oh, Thank- wow. oh, wow. Super producer. See, a male producer would not do that. No, they would go raw. <laughs> they would, they're like, we don't have any more condoms. Go, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> My fingers are so wet. Yeah. <laughs> they did a, like a Joe, crap. listen, have you heard of Come Town? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, I just need to talk to Joe. <laughs> I show up with like a yeah, like a suit. I don't Once know. Once he hears my pitch, I think he'll uh, mm-hmm. be on board. Mm-hmm. We had a we we talked on the phone briefly, Joe. We Joe, we talked with him on the phone in t- 2008. <laughs> did you? Um, I met him at Caroline's when I was the doorman, you know? Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. He was doing a show and, uh, I don't know. That's awesome. I don't know. Yeah. Good for you, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Really glad Shook you, his hand. you did the podcast today. Appreciate you. Oh, are we done? No. Oh, okay. Sometimes I just like to express gratitude, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. I've been like saying some really mean things lately and. Oh yeah. To my boyfriend. Oh, okay. We like, we're like together for what is seven he, days straight. What is he? Oh, okay. Yeah, he owns tough. Comedy Key West. Have you ever worked it? Oh, okay. No. Is he, a, is he a comedian? I'll get you in. I can get you in. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do is he weekend, a comedian? Do a weekend there? I would love to. I want, I want to do, I don't really do weekends. I mean, sometimes I do weekends and they're, they're fun, but. Bring the You know, family. I like the one nighter. I like the Wednesday. In Go to the out, airport right? on Wednesday. Little come home Thursday. Grab. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm with you. Use my points. Yeah. You to know? fly? Yeah. Miles? Yeah. And then they they switched, pocket the I haven't been in a Sky Lounge mm-hmm. because they switched the credit cards. I have to get a new credit card. It's messed up. Yeah. Why? Everybody's got their goddamn hand in your pocket. That's how I feel. Yeah. The government, the state. No, I got a, I got a PayPal today. Somebody sent me 400 bucks on PayPal. They, so how much did they take? Eighteen dollars. Yeah, yeah. What are you? Um, what, what are, are they you, doing with what it? What are you doing? You don't. You didn't work for this. No. What do know? they need it for? Well, and it's they, like that's not like their like, business model, I guess. But like, I don't know. That's so but that's much money. High. 
You if think, it was six bucks, I'd go, all right, you got me for six bucks. But the government's going to tax that money at some yeah. point too, because they got their fucking eyes yeah. on everything. And I'm so stupid. Like I forget to like claim about like my Robin Hood, like stocks and crypto. Right, right, right. All account- your losses. Yes. <laughs> your $9,000 uh, right. loss. Yeah. <laughs> my yeah. accountants are like, how did you sell crypto? And I'm like, why do you have to know mm-hmm. about that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't like, I had this accountant that Deb and I went to, he lived in Staten Island Yeah. and he was like an ex cop and he was like fat and he had whiskey on his desk and we, we walked in and he had like Newsmax playing on the, <laughs> on the, uh, I'm like, yeah, people watch Newsmax now cause they don't like Fox anymore. Yeah. He goes, yeah, Fox, they're just, they're too liberal. Too I liberal. Can't, I can't Way too left, lefty <laughs> Fox. That's what I call yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too far left. Um, and uh, we don't go to him anymore because he died of COVID, unfortunately. <laughs> Refused to get Not vaccinated. Like chose. <laughs> <laughs> a girl in my sauna at my gym was, I don't know if she's an anchor on Newsmax or something. Mm. Can oh, you yeah. look up female anchors on Newsmax? Because she was a smoke show uh, brunette, real fast talker. Normally, I'd It's got to be a good gig. Normally, I think I think you Sharia McBride. Oh, hold That's on. what, like Sharia Law? Yeah. As in the law? Your favorite. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Jen Pellegrino? It might be. Mm. Amanda? Jen Pellegrino. Is that her? I don't, I've seen her like no makeup, like sweaty in the sauna. Yeah. And she's yeah. just like a real fast talker. I'm uh-huh. really into her. I eavesdrop on her. Yeah. The last time I was in there, there was a sign in front of the steam room that said it was closed. Uh-huh. It said like spa closed. Uh-huh. So I looked at her and I was like, hey, I think that like, the bathroom attendants just like clean this and then like put that sign there for yeah. it to like dry and like nothing's really wrong. I'm yeah, just yeah. like, and I was like, I'm just telling you like I'm about to move the sign and do like, sorry, I, I'm not trying to corrupt you. I'm not trying to get you in on it. Like you can act like you told me not to if they come and yell. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, I don't, I don't care at all. Just uh-huh. go ahead. I have no judgment. Uh-huh. But yeah, she was hot, really hot. And mm. uh, I heard her go, yeah, I got to do Newsmax later. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, are you an anchor? Where do they mm. film news? Do they, it must. I don't know. I guess all over, but probably I would guess like, uh, in long Island. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah I would guess they do it in like, uh, are you watching any good scripted shows? Pennsylvania. I'm rewatching uh, Eastbound and Down because yeah. I watched it like 15 years ago. I mean, that's good. It's really um, good. But I don't really have time. I wish I had more time to watch TV. Did you I watch really um, like... true detective Jodie Foster? No good but i've revisited the the first season awesome it's yeah i mean it's very good yeah the one thing i don't like about it is like you're a detective show but you're not you don't tell us like who the killer is like they're like above that oh you know yeah. there weren't any like moments in, in true detective season one where you're like oh wow, oh shit right now there was, was the one where they find the guys in the field and yeah, the, you yeah, know yeah. they have to cover up that did do the cover up yeah because Woody, yes, yes. Woody Harrelson executed the guy right, that, that right. was I mean that was awesome. awesome that was great but there weren't any of those big moments where you go reveals. like oh it's the father-in-law well the Jodie Foster is, one you know, it's not till the end but the reveal mm-hmm. is fucking awesome really I heard the ending was terrible you who told you that Adam Friedland like everybody <laughs> yeah all the all the cool guys on Twitter <laughs> <laughs> that I that I hang out with I'm a big Jodie Foster fan she's yeah, a real too. low-key lesbian really yeah, good actress yeah, yeah. and like she doesn't rub it in your face that's what I, that's you know? what I like you yeah. know she's not all rainbows stop rubbing it in my face <laughs> Rosie <laughs> I really like that. I started, <laughs> I'm going to die. <clears throat> I started watching The Regime. Okay, what's that? Kate Winslet. Oh, okay. The character feels kind of like character-ish. 2.9? Like, is that a low rating? Is that what it has on Rotten <laughs> Tomatoes? What does what she play, like the queen? Ooh. Yeah, but it's kind of hot because like that guy, that, and I, they haven't, revealed enough yet about mm-hmm. him but i think he was involved in some like gnarly war crimes where they like killed like okay. innocent people okay but she's really into him and like they like sort of wrestle and fight and train and he cleans the I air i feel like i'm like a six-year-old is telling me about <laughs> the ninja turtles <laughs> what is, you're not explaining anything <laughs> she's the leader of her country okay it feels but it's like, like it's a fictional country it's not like fictional, england or anything okay and it feels like it's set in the future in the future okay and yeah, somebody's coming for the oil and she's okay. like, no. 
I don't know. Coming for the oil. Okay. That's why people, because people fight over oil. She has to burn potatoes because it smells like, or she thinks the air is dirty in the palace. Okay. People complain about, they say it smells like Ireland in there. So like there's references to Ireland and it might kind of be. So it's just like a fictional country, like a. Genovia or something. Yeah. I can't like in wait that movie. for What's the that Anne Hathaway YouTube- movie. I keep falling asleep Princess in the middle Dyers. of these episodes. Yeah. And I you can't do. wait for the YouTube comments of the people to be like, it's totally England. It's not fictional. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are right, fucking brain dead. Right, right. Stop talking. It's Finland. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's some fictional country like Finland. <laughs> Sometimes countries do feel fictional. Yeah. Key West. Like I love Key West, but sometimes uh-huh. it feels like, um, never, never land. Is your boyfriend a comedian? Yeah. Okay. He's a club owner. Yeah, that's cool. First. Yeah. I would say. Okay. His resume. If you that's saw cool. his resume. Yeah. Nice. And he can also sail a boat. Oh, that's cool. I want him to move here and sail the boats around here during oh, the day. Oh, dude. I, you know, I was thinking, because I live right near Brooklyn Bridge Park. Yeah. I was like, if I just had a boat over right. here, that'd be so sick. Get one. Yeah. Boats are like, they're not that much. They're like 60,000 or something. Yeah. But I've heard that it's a pain in the ass, but just imagine you have a boat and you just hop in your boat. Renting you where you your, park it though, I think is really expensive. Really expensive, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. But then you just take your boat to like your spots. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, you're, you're texting Joe Harari. You're like, oh, wait, <laughs> there's traffic in the East River. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joe, I'm going to be like 10 minutes late. <laughs> the Coast Guard's on my ass. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you late? We got pirated. I'm just. We got <laughs> pirates <laughs> boarded the ship. <laughs> Somali pirates. <laughs> that was a good movie. Remember was it that? Captain Phillips? Captain Phillips. Yeah. That was a good movie. Yeah. It felt People real. Hate. Did it? Well, that was a real story. Yeah, I know. Yeah. People hate uh, Forrest Gump. Since when? I don't know, like all the cool people, all the cool people on Twitter. What are they, I'm like not in these cool pockets. <laughs> they that say you're it's in. like a bad. What's uh, it about? What's bad about uh, it? I, great well, movie. I did see like a deleted scene and there's a scene where like, there's like a civil rights march and these, there's dogs about to attack the, the civil rights marchers and okay. Forrest Gump throws a stick uh-huh, and, they and he's like, and they run away. He's like, they're just dogs. They don't know any better. Sorry, they're messing up your parade. <laughs> It's like that, like didn't make the movie. It feels like a little, a little too much. Yeah. 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 A little silly. Yeah. He like stops the MLK assassination. Right. Or he's like listening to Malcolm X. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Lieutenant Dan. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So what else is new? I, you know, scripted shows. I just like, uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to watch. Like I, I hear Fargo is really good. The new season. Oh, really? Yeah. How I've heard that seasons? show Shogun is really good. There's five seasons of Fargo. Yeah. But you know what I end up doing? I end up watching like, uh, I really like watching like clips of the Sopranos and the wire on YouTube. Right. Just random Same. scenes. You know? I'll just fall go, down. Oh yeah. I'll be like, Oh, I should watch this Fleetwood Mac live yeah. concert clip for the 10th time. Yeah. Are we? <laughs> no. Nicole's no, there's doing nothing. It. She knows what I'm talking about. But there's nothing better than. YouTube's like the greatest thing that's ever. It's the greatest happened. TV channel that's We're ever. on YouTube. Yep. You know? We're celebrities on the booth. You can tube. see Karen Fian and Mike Racine. <laughs> on YouTube. On YouTube. And then right next to us is Machine time. Gun Kelly. <laughs> and 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 babies are addicted to it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> like my kid, when we watch when we sit and watch TV, I'll be like, Okay, Benny, do you want to watch Netflix or Disney? He'll be like, No Netflix. <laughs> He's like, I want you to. <laughs> it must be so satisfying for them yeah. right off the bat. What is he like yeah. watching? What's he in? He likes Paw watching Patrol? like a guy's head spin around in a toilet. <laughs> like YouTube shorts that are like really stimulating. That's that's where he always I worry about ends up. So we're trying to steer him away from YouTube. And we're just like, look, we got we have Disney Plus, right. we have we have Disney Plus, we have Max, we have Netflix. And he goes, I don't want Netflix. I just want YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a junkie. And everybody says like, no, screen time is fine. Just don't let your kids watch YouTube. Mine's already really? addicted. Yeah. Mine's fully addicted. Why specifically YouTube? What's the reasoning? Because it's all like over, just overstimulating. I mean, I'll, let me show you the kind of stuff that he watches. Yeah. Like my, sometimes like, um, I worry about kids going on whatever the Roblox thing, like talking to yeah. strangers. And talking the to internet. strangers. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know. It's going to yeah. be hard being a parent, though. Yeah, but then you can start a YouTube ch- uh, channel where you do pedophile hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Catch him. Yeah. Show him a pizza. And hey, a what's gun. up, man? What are you doing here? What are you doing? Yeah, my name's Terry. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not even law enforcement. You're just some guy. I watch a lot of those yeah, videos. Yeah, call your wife right now. Tell her you're here to meet a 14 year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like those videos. Those guys. You like them? Yeah. They, they kind of, they're a little not disturbed. That I like they, them, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I get served them. Like, you watch uh, yeah, one yeah, yeah. and then you're in. No, we're going to see five of them tonight because we know. talked about them. Did you see about but, the uh, woman who like starved her special needs son to death, essentially? That trial. I get a, a served a lot of no, like but, child abuse trial stuff. Uh-huh. And it was like very sick. He was like disabled. But my brother needs a little, <laughs> a little light starving to death. <laughs> Kid's kind of heavy. It was, um, she would like give him ice baths. Yeah. And like, just like leave him and like the baths. Like, I think that's how he eventually died. He had like cardiac arrest in an ice bath. She's Googling. <laughs> Nicole's Googling mom's starved special needs child. Oh God. Yeah. There's another lady. This but you like take Mormon one lady. look at her and you're like, yeah, this bitch looks like a uh, Helena Bonham Carter or yeah, whatever. Yeah, like yeah. She, she looks like a Tim Burton character. Yeah. 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 Like that lady, Ruby Frankie, who right. had the the Mormon lady. But yeah. Oh wait, is, is that the YouTube lady? Yeah. Yeah. So. I was like looking at the, that shit too. What did she do? She put duct that tape on her kids? looks like Tim Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> really does. Yeah. And then there, I think the, her other. You can't be starving your kid to death. He's got special needs. <gasps> oh God. Is that good? I don't know. That was pretty good. Yeah. But I think her, like her other son who was normal, I think he's being convicted as well because he would like do what she told him to do. Mm-hmm. Like abuse the kid. What yeah. did Ruby do to her kids? She tied him up and She like them? didn't let them have lunch. Oh my God. Yeah. No, it was pretty, it was pretty bad. And the dad is not being convicted. Like he didn't know. Yeah, where was Which the dad? Is, I don't know. It's very weird. Yeah, the dad doesn't get talked about at all. Yeah. Just her business partner. Yeah, her business partner. Yeah. What did her business partner do? She's probably like, I don't know. But she's going to, she's getting like 60 years or something. I mean, it's. Holy fuck. Because it was really. That means they have a shit ton of evidence. Yeah. 60 years? Look at her just smiling. How her sick little, is that? Her little though? thumbnail. That's yeah. the sickest part. Like yeah. the, um, she's probably a Gemini. You know what's annoying too is like people people watch the channel and they go yeah that's right like I'm gonna be strict with my because her whole thing was like strict parenting was it yeah like it's like just weak shitty parents who don't want to who can't like enrich their kids lives yeah (laughs) and have fun being a parent yeah and feed them yeah I can't even being a shitty parent is kind of like the easy way out like to to be hard on your kids or to like say you know yo you can't have lunch. Yeah, it's much harder to, you know, make them three different kinds of chicken nuggets <laughs> because they're not eating. That's like the harder road, you know, dino nuggets, star yeah. nuggets. Yeah. She insisted that her son was possessed by a demon. Oh, come on. Of course. And like wrote about this, not even just in court, but wrote about it in a journal, I guess. This woman needs Islam. R was told to stand in the sun with his son hat. And then she wrote in her journal entry, he's defiant. R, or should I say his demon, stays in the shade. I push R into the sun. R comes back. I come back with a cactus poker. When I poke his back to get in the sun, R doesn't even flinch. I poke him on the neck. He's in a trance and doesn't appear to feel anything. My question is, why are you journaling this? Right. It's the same thing with the Nickelodeon thing. That guy journaling like, Turns out I'm a full blown pedophile. Right, like that's right. what he wrote. It's like, dude, what? And he's like, he's writing to himself. Keep in mind, she's nine years old. It's like, why are you writing this down? Why are you writing, why who are is you, this for? I mean, their conscience. They want to get think, caught. Yeah, I yeah. think their conscience must be so guilty that they got to get it out of themselves. He's like, he like backed it up on a, on Google drive, his, his journal where he says he's a pedophile. You're running out of space. <laughs> oh no, better, better pay for the, pay for more storage. <laughs> yeah. I signed up for Dropbox premium cause I didn't want the, I didn't want to lose the Dropbox. journal entry where I said I'm a full blown pedophile. <laughs> Dropbox. That's what I call the nine year old. I just dumped. <laughs> Hey, have you been following the, um, like the DoorDash discourse on Twitter? No. That's very funny. So every time people complain about DoorDash, about how like the workers are being exploited, 
Yeah. Some people pop up and they go, actually, I'm disabled and I need to order DoorDash every day because I won't eat if I don't. And then everybody's like, well, why don't you just cook for yourself? And they're like, I'm literally, I literally can't do the motions. And then people are like, well, okay, but what if you just ordered like frozen meals from the grocery store? And then people are like, I can't have frozen meals because they're full of histamines. Oh my God. <laughs> like, These people are in like, like a, iron lungs. Yeah. Yeah. They might be. Remember, did you see that guy who was in the iron lung that and lived? And he just died, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so fucking weird, dude. Yeah. He's like, I practiced law for many years. How? You did? From that tube? <laughs> just, just imagine. It's crazy. Imagine you get a DUI and your, your, your lawyer comes in. They have to wheel him into the courtroom. You're like, it takes like, like eight men like pallbearers. Like, your Honor, I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> that, okay. was my, that was my colostomy bag. I rushed here. On the night of February 11th. That's crazy. <laughs> he practiced law. Yeah, that is. That's. I don't get how he lived. I need at to all. research. Yeah, what? Yeah. It was year. Damn. He was like one of the last iron lungs. What's R. that plate? Polio? He, who's, <laughs> Would you want to? But the thing is, like, it's not the worst quality yes, of life. It is. <laughs> but, like, yes. but like Karen, if you were in an iron lung, uh, no, if, Kill if me. you were in Kill this, me. but people, I think people want to live. People want to survive. If I was in that iron lung, I bet all my male friends would prank me and try to put their dicks in my mouth while I was sleeping. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it would suck. We plead not guilty, Your Honor. All right. There's no God, huh? We're going to end this podcast here. I mean, it's good that they cured this disease, I guess. What disease did he have? Polio. Oh, right, right, right. I think it was polio. Yeah. Um, his mother was anti-vax. <laughs> she was, she listened to whatever version of uh, Robert F. Gas Kennedy Digital yeah. <laughs> was around back then. <laughs> she became anti-vax. Did you read Robert F. Kennedy's book? Uh, no. The Real Dr. Fauci? No. Did you? Yep. You're into that stuff, huh? No, I read the book. Mm, okay. Well, I listened to it. It was on Audible. It's nice. Yeah, but that's reading. Come on. Anybody who says that's not reading is like, I think it's get out of here. Go tell a single mother she's not reading. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I know. You're still collecting information. I guess I just like. You're still I, absorbing the information. Yeah. yeah. I like the feeling of turning So you had a couple pages. kooky uh, theories. I, are you vaxxed? Yes. There are a few. Do you regret it? Um, I think it may. I may have gotten shingles. Yeah. Because of it. I'm definitely like way stupider than I was before COVID. There you go. <laughs> like, <laughs> like sometimes I'll be on stage and I'll literally have to look down and be like, uh, but anyway, folks, <laughs> <laughs> it takes me a second to be like, what the fuck was I talking about? I will literally be like, what was I talking about? Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. crowd will tell me. <laughs> yeah. But I wonder if that's the disease. I don't know if it's the vaccine. I don't know. I, I mean, you want to get into this a little bit? It's, it's, a, it's another whole, it's like Gaza. It's like a whole thing. I, but I don't really know that. I'm not like a, I don't, I know even less about, about this, you know? I mean, the studies that were written about in the real Dr. Fauci are, are kind of crazy mm -hmm. that they like gave these women, this group of women in Brazil, like double the amount of ivermectin that like would normally be prescribed. Mm -hmm. So they all died. Mm -hmm. So that's what they put in the research. They're mm -hmm. saying this is going to kill people. Well, I thought ivermectin was the good thing because, because Joe Rogan took it. I thought ivermectin was the alternative to... It was. It was. Yeah. But it was demonized. Mm -hmm. Oh, but they gave her double the amount, so it killed well, that's her on what, purpose? Like, they, well, the you people... think that's real? You think they're... I don't know. I mean, it's like... Sure, sure. In a yeah. book. It's in a book, and yeah. And he's, he's writing first and last names of doctors that did this. He's like, this yeah. person, like these three doctors on this team in Brazil, like administered this much. You know what I mean? Like they were like... And you think they were like, okay, let's give this lady... Lots of ivermectin, so she dies, so that everyone will take bunch the vaccine. Of ladies. They did it to a bunch of ladies. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I'm not an expert on this. Um. Yeah, I got shingles. You're already I, calling me a cuck in the comments. I was stressed out, and like shingles is like just like the chicken pox virus in your system already. Mm -hmm. I had chicken pox when I was little, mm -hmm. and stress can bring about shingles. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like chicken and egg type thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but then I heard a few more. Yeah, luckily I didn't get it in my eye. That looks so brutal. I got a tiny rash like on my ribs. That's amazing that guy practiced law though. Who, Robert F. Kennedy? No, the, no, the guy in the iron lung. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, cr yeah, he practiced. But Do you think he's he pro or anti-vax, the guy in the iron lung? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, they can't even get in there. <laughs> 
All right, we're going to stop. He's this. like, I'm hungry. I didn't take the vaccine. I'm glad I did it. <laughs> <laughs> no Fauci ouchie for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not smart enough. I do think yeah. that the amount of money that the company's made off it is pretty astronomical. Sure. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'm like, how can you be so sure about a vaccine that you've come up with so quickly? They're doctors. Yeah. But you can't really test side effects on big groups. Mm hmm. Without just kind of. Maybe there was nothing in there. Right. You think it was just like soda water? Yeah. Yeah. A little uh, grenadine. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you're Shirley Temple. <laughs> it was annoying because lockdown was like fun. You don't have to do anything. I mean, I just I watched so many. I never watched movies because I would always be out doing spots and right. stuff, you know? You watched so. all the movies. I mean, I started making porn and I got rich. So I was You like, started during the pandemic? Yeah. So oh, okay. I would like, I was going on staycations at all these like closed hotels. They were open yeah, to yeah. me. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, there's $60 a night. You stayed at the Ritz Carlton for, <laughs> for four months. dollars 57 I was the only one there. <laughs> me and Ernest. It was you awesome. Making porn with Ernest. Absolutely. Yeah, the he's good in, old days. He's in a lot of the 2022. Stuff. <laughs> that's how you know it's an it's an authentic scene <laughs> if you see Ernest in it r.i.p Ernest. that's how they authenticate it all right thanks for doing the pod you know. mike thanks for having me and my special is out on uh on youtube if you want to see it. it's called i'm norman i'll be in chicago at zany's on april 3rd you can get tickets at, oh nice at, uh, you'll yeah, sell that Mike out Racine comedy .com. i hope so zany's is fun it's one night you got it. These one-nighters are so good. Easy peasy. Yeah, In April and out. 3rd. Cash grab. Back to the chicken Cash cutlets. Grab. Yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Growing ass on the ground, getting laughs at the stand. Only she can, only feed hands. It's only... Only... It's only feed hands.